Would you get to welcome the Tech Trends? Um, thank you very much. Take us through the journey of the Computer Village market. Where did it start from and how is it doing now? Um, Computer Village was as a result of lack of employment yesteryears um, in the year 1994 where some people that um, finished from the universities, the polytechnics, gather in a house in Otiba Street. Majorly, the present day computer village was you know, known for clearing and forwarding agents because of the proximity to the airport and um, some lawyers because of the proximity to the Icoticaja and is known for medical laboratory equipment because of the proximity to General Hospital Ikeja. But when these young people now you know, converged in a house in Otigua Street and they began to like, okay, demand for computers, you know, was in the rise in Nigeria. People now started demanding for, and these young people now need to source from importers from maybe one or two streets, you know, around the cage and environ. And, you know, for the fact that the demand for ICT increased, people now started, you know, coming together to form a market, which naturally was formed unconsciously. So the, this market is um, naturally um, something that was probably destined by God, because this place was not designated for a market. But at the end of the day, it became you know, big. And at the point when the introduction of GSM came, the year 2000, 2001, 2002, it became, you know, a big deal and the market started expanding. What sort of impact do you think this market is making to the entire economy today? The impact the market is making in Lagos is in so many faces. Number one, Computer Village is the largest ICT market in Africa. Number two, Computer Village is a major contributor to the economic development of Lagos State as a state. Computer Village is a major contributor to the GDP of Nigeria as a nation. And let me tell you this, going into the new world, by the year 2019, agriculture will be the leading contributor to the GDP, followed by ICT. And what's in terms of hardware and software solutions that are provided in Nigeria today, Computer Village has over 70% of the activities, most of the markets all over the 36 states source their products from here. That is to tell you that we do over 70% of what is done when it comes to retail, wholesale, ICT sales and services. But many will argue that the e-commerce platforms are displacing you guys. Thank you. The new world that Computer Village is moving on, that's my coming on board. One of the cardinal things I told people is that you are moving the market away from the physical stores to the online businesses, which is computerbillage.com is registered. We are coming big and we have partners. We have strategic partners that are working with us and onto the new world. That is, we don't need to give our products to the so-called the you know big e-commerce platform to come and display through their own platform. Let people talk to us directly because but we own the stocks. Do they source from you guys? That is absolutely 120%. I'm sure of that because we give the products to them. We list on their site. They sell and they take those commissions, pay us in two weeks. But what the new word is, is people need to now talk to us. Then they, they get one hour, two hours delivery anywhere in Nigeria. And we are talking to already our partners that are we're working on with the shop Nigeria, I mean, shopcomptability.com are already talking to 16 to 17 major logistic and career companies. So in Nigeria, the big names. So we get our products delivered anywhere across Nigeria, even West Africa. As a president of Capdown, are you satisfied with the progress the market has made? And do you think the market has fully maximized its potentials? Um, Computer Village has just tapped 
just 35% of his full potentials. Ask me why. Because what we do majorly that is not where else is if you have a problem with any of your gadgets and for instance it's not displaying onto the screen, maybe something has happened on the board. We have people, some that have gone to the university, different background and discipline that has came through apprenticeship training and technical training here, will eventually provide solutions by looking at those boards and the chips and provide solutions to them. And these screens probably start working back and they can do that to every of the chipsets in every PC. Now, what we are doing and my leadership and my team, what we are working on is how then, if Nigeria, if you take this to every other country, maybe in England or America, what they tell you is they don't have time to fix that. What they do is they replace that board for, of that particular phone or gadget. But what we do here is a domesticated solution that fits our own ecosystem. And I tell you, this is nowhere else in the world that Nigeria and a Nigerian solution. And moving to the next level is how then can these products that we have back in Computer Village will now say, we want to develop our own motherboards, then power it with a screen, then produce our own PC, not assembling, production. The gap that, that here? it will happen. Okay, but this is the issue of trust. A lot of people say that this place is not a place to be trusted. How are you ensuring that, that you change that paradigm? Thank you. That is basically, I won't call it trust. I'll call it fulfillment. I'll call it fulfillment. And what fulfillment does is if I'm buying something from Computer Village, for instance, from just a shop in Computer Village, and I have a complaint, and if I bring it back, how then would these people now listen to me to attend to my complaint? Number one, it has to do with education and advocacy, customer service education. That if you lose a customer today and you don't solve their problems for them, you are provide you are losing 10 customers down the line of that single person. But if you treat a customer well, the ripple effect, the multiplying effect, is that that person will continue to refer people to you. And you have get that person's trust. So moving to the next level, we're coming with advocacy. We already have an enforcement and arbitration committee. We're going to come online and offline and everywhere that there is a complaint desk that is going to be on 24 hours. And what would you do if somebody defaults that? That is why we have a disciplinary committee and arbitration committee that we have just appointed people and we're doing their inauguration. Then you lay your complaint to just send the, the queries online. Then we keep resolving issues. And most of these issues is about education and understanding on the part of the buyers and the sellers. When we know that you are a computer village person, you are a, you are a member, and you are defaulting people, or you have done something, then we'll see to, we'll call you when then you know, the association is involved. People are resolving issues, which is, and we have started since this administration came in. And based on that, we are moving to the next level to make sure that people comply. Finally, if I let you go, what sort of support do you expect from government to make this market more sustainable? Uh, majorly, um, I want the state and the federal government of Nigeria to realize the fact that as it is, oil and gas is going down, ICT is going up. While the contribution of ICT is developing, they are, we create well blue chip companies are losing, they are retrenching people. We, we are producing more employment. And ICT is developing. Now, ICT should not just be seen as just being an industry, but it should be seen as an industry that could take Nigeria to the next level. Look at the type of employment, GSM evolution, ICT evolution, and all the rest have created. And that is this, what we are saying that moving to the next level, government should see this industry as a very important industry that it needs to really invest in. So moving to the next level, government should come directly to invest in Computer Village in terms of number one, 
We need better ambience to do our businesses. We need better ambience. Help us people that are into substandard, substandard products. Government should talk to us. Then, we'll put, then they will make enforcement so that this place would the image will change, the business will develop, and government will see it as its own. Colleagues, wish you all the best. Thank you very much for being on the test today. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you. We've come to the end of today's show. Do follow us on social media and don't forget you can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog cfatech.ng for tech trends. I'm Chukwemeka Agbata.